Good morning, guys. Get ready with me as I head out for an in-home consultation. I want to bring you guys along because interior design is such a big, big part of my identity. And I really just want to show you guys what it looks like after I drop the kids off. Yes, I have three little girls. Once my husband and I drop the kids off, we come home, we have our coffee together, we talk, and then we start our day. So I'm here. I just got ready. I'm just put, put on my face, but I really want to go ahead and just jump into my outfit. So now I'm in my closet. When I go to consultations, I literally just have a uniform. <laughs> I do not try to do too much i just have the same top and the same jeans because it's a uniform i'm an interior designer i go to people's homes it's not about me and what my looks are it's really truly about the home it's really truly about the client they have to gain my trust and for me it's just important that i just always show up professional i know that right now we're living in a time where people are just not trying to do the most <laughs> everybody's doing bare minimum but when it comes to my business the thing that pays me and my family to live very well <laughs> i am going to show up and i'm going to put my best foot forward so get ready with me as i literally <laughs> Figure this out. Um, boom. Because I gotta go, y'all. You got 20 minutes to figure this out. So, But my outfit is the same for every consultation because I just always want to look super professional. And I got my business name embroidered. You guys can see. You do too much when it comes to service. Do too much when you gotta go above and beyond for people. Do too much when you gotta be a good parent. Do too much when you gotta be a good wife. But you can keep things super simple and still look like you're doing too much, okay? Because it's cold, cold, cold here in Atlanta. Um, do I want to put any other piece of jewelry on? Mm, maybe, maybe this guy. Here, my book bag. I got my planner that my mommy gave me for Christmas. iPad. So here, I will use it to take all of our notes. I got my measuring tape, got my book bag. Can't leave, can't leave the house without the measuring tape. I also have um, the laser. But I'm just an old school girl. I really just like measuring traditionally with the measuring tape. Everybody be like, girl, you know you you know you need to come up to like the 2024 20, year. And I'm like, no, I kind of like being able to still write things down and still be able to measure with my hands. Like the measuring tape will never fail me. The laser, they've been off once or twice. This is this. And this is usually my consultation look. Okay, y'all, let me put y'all on game, number one. Number one, have you guys heard of this company called Crew? K-R-E-W-E. They are a vibe, honey. They are out of Louisiana, and their sunglasses are, they're refreshing. They're just, it's amazing because I was such a Gucci girl. Sunglasses are my favorite, favorite type of accessory, but something about just being able to um, throw on some sunglasses is really the thing that I really love the most. It's on him to restore his sight. Lord. All right, guys, I just made it to the consultation. I'm looking for the address, and um, looks like we're almost here. We're going up. So I have my other interior designer friend here with us and bring you guys along to just what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. And um, yeah, just give you guys a glimpse into our world. with the right people with the right type of people i don't know where how who what what kind of favor i'm currently i just i just really don't know like i just really cannot explain how 
just how mind blowing everything has been so far. Like since my awakening and since my revelation and since like my enlightenment, like God has just really been showing out, showing me like the right people, the right the right team, and it just it just feels so. I mean, it feels like everything is just lining up the way I needed it to, and I'm just so extremely thankful. I'm just so extremely thankful. I'm just so so extremely thankful like I can't even begin to conceptualize like how I feel when I align with the right client who understands and, and, and knows the value that I'm trying to bring they understand like hey I see you I see you and it just it feels like I just don't have to try to be like hey guys like come on I know how you want your house to feel it just feels like they just know that I'm gonna do a good job because they did their due diligence with their research they did their due diligence with their learning me you know just as much as I'm betting them they're betting me and I just never want to come off like I'm just like I just don't know what I'm doing you know like I just don't ever want to come off like I'm just bullshitting it I don't ever want to come off like I'm just a fraud out here like I'm running a business but also my service is whack like I'm running a business but also I don't know how to communicate I'm running a business and I don't know how to use my soft skills like I never want to come off that way I never want my business to reflect that way and the fact that this client even just down to my aesthetics just seeing how I'm dressed just seeing how in my photos like even when I was a heavier girl I still always never look sloppy I always look put together because I was super intentional about how I wanted to look I wanted to always convey that I care about what I wear I care about my aesthetics 250 pounds or 160 pounds I'm always going to care how I look and he brought that up he could see that through my photos he could see that through my videos he said I saw I love when people just know how to look presentable they look like you're trying you're trying because just in his little sweatsuit vibes i peeped him i'm like okay he got a little nike sweatsuit on he had these jordans on i'm like just and i just love when people just get the aesthetic when people just get like i care about me i care about how i dress i care about how i look i care about how my kids look and i just i literally left that consultation feeling so whole feeling so whole and i just pray i just pray out there that for anyone that's watching this that if you feel like there's something more that you should be doing you need to go and do it i could have sat on this interior design business and not had done a thing had not done that one single thing and yet and yet i launched almost five years ago almost five years ago and today i'm like wow thank you god thank you god for showing me that this is something i could have tapped into and people pay me for it and people see the value and people keep coming back because all I ever wanted when I got on Instagram and I had started my first, my handle and I had one follower here, two followers there. Then at one point I had 10 followers. Then I had 15 followers. I just wanted people to be like, oh my gosh, I love your work. Like I just remember honing in on wanting to just feel that feeling when someone says, I love your work. Like I love how you do your work. There's 50 million interior designers out there. But for someone to say, hey, I love your work out of a sea of 50 million different designers, that is just such a great feeling, especially when I just launched five years ago. Like I'm I'm a baby in the entrepreneur space. I'm a baby. And, um, you know, it just felt like I needed to really hone in on being able to um, tap into my full capabilities and my full potential. I am so passionate about this. I am so, so passionate about this. I just want to convey that if you're sitting on an idea, if you're sitting on something that you know you're so, you're somewhat good at, you're like, I think I can do this. Go for it, guys. Like, life is way too short to be miserable, to be living in a, in a, in a role that you cannot stand, to be in a space that you just don't care for. Like, life is just too short, y'all. Like, I just really want people to really tap into, like, their Christ-like self within. Like, whatever it is that you think you should be doing, I really want you guys to really hone in on that. Because leaving this consultation, like, has really fueled me. Because I had four months of no work. Four months I went with no work. I had to tell my assistant, hey, I can't pay you no more. I had to um, put some credit card stuff to the side. I couldn't pay my credit cards. Like, American Express is calling me like this. Like, where, where the payment at? And I'm like, bro, I don't got it right now. And, I, and it was really hard for me to sit with that because I'm like, maybe I don't, maybe this is not what I'm supposed to be doing. Maybe there's no work coming in because this is not what I'm supposed to be doing. But once God showed me who he was and once God touched my shoulder and was like, hey, I got you. I've always had you. I've always had you. I just need you to focus. Now the work is coming in so much. 